So why are people still playing this map from 2007, which arguably hasn't changed very much? Especially when the first few minutes are more like a tree-clicking simulator than an RTS. Well, the mass in the centre and the side islands reward early aggression. The unequal distribution of mass leads to huge beach invasions and sometimes base trades. And the large size of the map means that full-scale naval fights, experimentals, nuclear warfare, Strategic launch detected. game enders, and even my personal favourite, the teleport snipe, I will fucking laser you, are all viable strategies. <laughs> if you are new to Forged Alliance Forever, you can join here. If you want to play but don't know the meta, allow me to explain how it works. Seaton's is an asymmetrical 4v4. First off, you've got your rock slot. This is the Chad Clary slot with the most resources. Then, you've got your beach slot. They're at a disadvantage and receive from the enemy mm. rock Chad. At the back, you've got your air pacifist. For the first 10 minutes or so until they get T3, then they're gonna go Super Saiyan. Last but not least, you've got your front player, who is going to be approaching the enemy. All you need to do to win is murder the enemy commanders to death without losing your own. If you lose your commander, you lose the game. So grab yourself a nice cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy some civilized nuclear-powered robot genocide. <laughs>